Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How can the legislative branch of the United States government check the power of the president? The legislative branch, composed of the House of Representatives and the Senate, has several mechanisms to check the power of the president, ensuring a balance of power within the U.S. government. Legislative powers. The legislative branch has the sole authority to enact legislation. For a bill to become a law, it must pass both the House and the Senate with a majority vote. If the president vetoes a bill, Congress can override the veto with a two-thirds majority vote in both chambers. Appointment approval. The Senate has the power to approve or reject many of the president's appointments, including Supreme Court justices, federal judges, and high-ranking executive branch officials. This advice and consent role is a significant check on the president's power to shape the judiciary and executive branches. Impeachment Congress has the power to impeach and remove the president from office for treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. The House of Representatives initiates the impeachment process and the Senate tries the case. Budget control. The legislative branch controls the budget and has the authority to levy taxes and tariffs to fund government services. This power allows Congress to influence the president's ability to implement policies by controlling the financial resources available. Oversight Congress conducts oversight of the executive branch through hearings and investigations. This includes the power to compel the production of evidence and testimony, which helps in monitoring the president's actions and ensuring accountability. Treaty ratification. The Senate must provide advice and consent to ratify treaties negotiated by the president. This gives the legislative branch a significant role in foreign policy, allowing them to check the president's diplomatic actions. Pocket veto. If Congress adjourns before the president can sign or veto a bill and the president takes no action, the bill can die through a pocket veto. However, Congress can still pass the legislation again in the next session if they wish to override this action. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.